Greetings from Brother Stephen. I'm a student and witness of Yahashua Christ, who now sits on the right hand of the Father. It was expedient for us that he go to the Father, that I may come unto you. I am sent to reprove the world because they believe not on Christ. The purpose of this lesson is to rebuke and warn you against false doctrine. The title of this lesson is Be Fruitful and Multiply. And we're going to start this lesson off in the book of Genesis, um, first chapter, um, verses 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful. This word fruitful means be sexually active, cross pollinate to develop new individuals and multiply, increase great in number, become many and fill the earth. God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good go to genesis chapter 2 verses 24 it says therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife this word cleave unto means be fruitful have sexual intercourse with to develop new children with your wife and they shall be one flesh one union, one marriage, a family, a group consisting of male and female parents and children living together in a household. Children is a blessing from God. Having children is not a sin. Children are a blessing from God. And we are going to prove this with scripture. Genesis 1 and 28 again. And God blessed, blessed Adam and Eve. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. God blessed them and told them to be fruitful and multiply. Genesis 9, verses 1 and 7. Um, and God blessed Noah, blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Genesis 11 and 30. Sarah was barren, she had no children. We're going to jump to Genesis 13 and 16. Sarah, Sarai is Abraham's wife. And it said, and I will make, this is God talking. God said, I will make thy seed. He's talking to Abraham as the dust of the earth. God made his seed as the dust of the earth. So that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. Genesis 14, 4 through 5. And behold, the word of Yorhevave came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. This come out of thy own bowels means Abraham will produce him his natural seed. Not a spiritual seed, not an adopted seed. Out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. You go to Deuteronomy 28 and 4. It says, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. Natural seed, natural children. Go back to Genesis 15 verse 5. And he brought him forth abroad and said, look now toward heaven 
until the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy seed be. Going to Genesis chapter 17, verses 15 to 16. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarai thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. And I, and I will bless her and give thee a son from thine own bowels also of her yea i will bless her and she shall be a mother of nations kings of people shall be of her i'm going to jump to genesis 17 chapter 17 verse 20 and as for ishmael i have heard thee behold i have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he begot from his own bowels naturally, not an adopted seed or spiritual seed. And I will make him a great nation. Genesis 22 verses 17, 17 through 18. Then in blessing, I will bless thee and in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand, which is upon the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemy and thy seed shall all the nations of, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Genesis 26, 3 to 4, verses 3 to 4. So journey in this land, and I will be with thee, and I will bless thee, for unto you and unto thy seed I will give all these countries, and I will perform an oath which I swore unto Abraham thy father, and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. I will give unto thy seed all these countries. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. I'm going to jump down Genesis 26, 24. And the Lord appeared unto him that same night and said, I am the God of Abraham, thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee, and I will bless thee. And multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. If you go to Joshua chapter 24 verses 3 to 4, it says, And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood and led him throughout all the land of Canaan and multiplied his seed and gave him Isaac. And I gave unto him Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. God gave him Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. Genesis chapter 33, verse 5. And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him. And they wept. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children and said, Who are these with thee? And he said, The children which God hath graciously given thy servant. God graciously gave them to him. Genesis chapter 49, 25. Even by the God of thy father, who shall help thee, and by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with blessings of heaven above, blessings of the deep that lie under, blessings of of the breast and and of the womb it is a blessing to have children not a sin we're going to go to leviticus chapter 26 we're going to read verses 2 and verse 9 
Ye shall keep my Sabbath and reverence my sanctuary. I am your Hebavhe. If ye walk in my statues and keep my commandments and do them like Abraham did, for I will have respect unto you and make you fruitful and multiply you and establish my covenant with you. Psalms 128 verses 3 and 4. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth your hey vav hey. It is a blessing from God. Job 42 and 12. So the Lord Job 42 and 12. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. We jump into verse 13. And he had also seven sons and three daughters. The Lord blessed him with children and in all the land were no women found so fair this means as beautiful as the daughters of Job Isaiah 45 and 18 for thus said your Vavhe that created the heavens God himself that formed the earth and made it he hath established it he created it not in vain he formed it to be inhabited. I am Yod Hey Vav Hey, and there is none else. He formed it to be inhabited. What do that mean? He formed it to be inhabited. Go back to Genesis. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be sexually active and have children. Increase greatly in number. Become many. Feel the earth. Psalms 127 and 3. Lo, children are an heritage of Yod Hey Vav Hey. That means they're the property of God. Like the scriptures say, Know ye not that ye are the temple, which means the house, the property of God. He said, And the fruit of the womb is his reward. How can you? Turn that into sin. The fruit of the room is his reward. It is his heritage. First Samuel chapter 1. We go read verses 19, 20, and 27. And they arose up in the morning early and worshiped before Yod Hevavhe, and returned and came to their house to Ramai. And Alakani knew, which means had sexual intercourse with Hannah, his wife. And Yod Hevavhe remembered her. Wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of Yod Hevavhe. For this child I prayed, and Yod Hevavhe hath given me my petition which I asked of him. 1 Samuel chapter 2, 20-21 And Eli blessed Alakani and his wife and said, yod hey vav hey, give you seed of this woman for the loan which he lent to yod hey vav hey. And they went unto their own home and yod hey vav hey visited Hannah so that she conceived and bare three sons and two daughters and the child Samuel grew before Yod Hey Vav Hey. Now we're going to go to 1 Timothy chapter 4, warning against false teachers. It say, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared 
with a hot iron for bidding to marry. So what does the Bible defines as marriage? Let's go back to Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto be fruitful and have sexual intercourse with to develop new children with his wife and they shall be one marriage a union a family this is a group consisting of male and female parents and children this is what god defines as a marriage and i'm going to we're going to close this scripture out this is genesis chapter 38 verses 6 through 9 and we're going to close with this and judah took a wife for er his first born his firstborn whose name was tamar and er judah's firstborn was wicked in the sight of yod heh vav -Heh, and yod heh vav -Heh slew him and judah said unto onan go in unto your brother's wife and marry her and raise up seed to thy brother go until go into your brother's wife which means have sexual intercourse and marry her get her pregnant and raise up seed to thy brother and Onan knew that the seed should not be his and it came to pass when he went in unto his brother's wife that he spilled it on the ground he poured out and spilled it on the ground least that he should give seed to his brother and the thing which he did displeased yod hey vav -Hey. wherefore yod hey vav -Hey slew him also and this concludes this message